Welcome! Linux Mint is a professional grade operating system, rock solid and dependable. But there is a trade off. It's basically Debian based GNU slash Linux distribution, which means that stability is the number one priority, first and foremost. That's why Linux Mint offers certain apps pre installed that are not up to date. LibreOffice is an example. In Linux Mint 20.1, LibreOffice is version 6.4.6.2. Just a reminder, LibreOffice development has gone far away in the 7 series at the time of recording this video. The newer versions are said to have better MS Office format compatibility. Updating your default LibreOffice version might look like a daunting task, especially for newbies. It's not a big deal at all, and we want to prove it in this video. Stay with us. Here we have Linux Mint 20.1 Mate Edition. There are two options available to change your default LibreOffice version. You can either download an installation file from the LibreOffice website, which we had already done, or you can simply open the Linux Mint software manager and install an up-to-date version distributed as Flatpak. The latter case is much easier, but why shouldn't we have some fun and dispel some fears of the Linux terminal? Because the second option involves the use of the command line. But first, we need to remove the default LibreOffice installation. We will do that by opening the terminal app and typing in some simple commands. You need to type in sudo space apt dash get space remove space dash dash purge space LibreOffice asterisk. Don't worry, we will leave the command in the description down below. Basically, to put it in plain English, what it does is telling the system to act as a super user and to get rid of the LibreOffice with no traces left. As you can see, there is no LibreOffice in the start menu anymore. Now what we need to do is to open the folder where we have downloaded the latest version of the LibreOffice into. It's in so-called tarball compressed format and it cannot be installed by double-clicking as is the case with MS's .exe files or Debian's .deb files. So we will extract it right here. Then the next step is to open the folder where we have extracted it to. Now we need to open the folder named Debs. There we will right click the empty space and choose the option Open in Terminal. It's time to instruct the system to install each and every one of these .deb files. So we type in sudo space dpkg space dash i space asterisk dot deb. It tells the package manager to install them all, acting as a super user. Now you need your administrative password and the system will finish its job. That was basically all to it. Now let's check what we've got. If we check the start menu now, we will find out that the LibreOffice suite is there. It's version 7.1.1.2, the latest one at the time of recording the video, and it works with no glitches. Updating your LibreOffice installation in Linux Mint wasn't hard, and the use of terminal wasn't that scary. We hope you've liked the video. Please give us your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time!